this. We don't do anything. They build and build and build. And they didn't get environmental impact statements when they decided to rip up the sea. They said, Sunday night, let's build. Monday morning, they were digging. A little different than our country, wouldn't you say? A little bit. A little bit different. Number four, I'm going to tell our NAFTA partners that I intend to immediately renegotiate the terms of that horrible agreement signed by Bill Clinton yep. to get a better deal for our workers. And if we don't get the deal that we want, which has to be good and has to make up for all of these years of abuse and lost time, then we will walk away, which is fine. Which is fine. I'm going to instruct my Treasury Secretary to label China a currency manipulator, the greatest in the world. Any country that devalues their currency in order to take unfair advantage of the United States and all of its companies who can't compete will face tariffs and taxes to stop the cheating. And when they see that, they will stop the cheating. I don't think our politicians even know what's going on. And they will stop. Or we're going to take in one hell of a lot of money, I'll tell you that. I'm going to instruct the United States Trade Representative to bring trade cases against China, both in this country and at the WTO, World Trade Organization. China's unfair subsidy and its behavior is prohibited by the terms of its entrance into the WTO, and I intend to enforce our rules. That's all, very simple. And they know it's coming. They called a lot of friends of mine. They know it's coming. They say, what do we do? What do we do? If China does not stop its illegal activities, remember this, our trade deficit with China is approximately $505 billion a year. Think of it. $505 billion. Somebody said, oh, but you'll stop trading with China. I said, is that good or bad? You tell me. We have to straighten it out, folks. We can't have deficits of $500 billion. We can't have deficits, and we can start making things right here again, and it'll be very good. And I'm going to use every lawful presidential power to remedy the trade disputes, including the application of tariffs. And I'll tell you, we're going to probably have to at least use them in some cases because they have to understand we're not playing games any longer, folks. We're not playing games. If we take these steps, jobs and factories will come roaring back into our country. We can use the new money to rebuild our roads, bridges, and airports. Manufacturing is also a matter of national security. It's national security. Our manufacturing is being decimated. Decimated. We're not going to have manufacturing. I am so tired of seeing manufacturing buildings that employ thousands and thousands of people being turned into nursing homes. It's fine, but you know what? That's not, we have to, we have to, we have to build. We have to build, we have to manufacture. We need to build, produce, and create right here in America. Right here in America. Let me tell you a few more things that we're going to do. We're going to end government corruption. Hillary Clinton ran the State Department like a failed leader in a third world country. That's what it's run. It's run like, like a third world country. She sold favors and access in exchange for cash. She sold it. She sold favors. She sold access. And wait till you see when it's revealed. All of those people, now it looks like it's 50% of the people that saw her had to make contributions to the Clinton Foundation. Where do you see, ultimately, what she did for all of those people? Where do you see? These are not people that go in, as I said, 
and talk about how are you feeling. The people she met with outside of government She met with outside governor, secretary of state. So many of these people made contributions. She even deleted 33,000 emails to hide evidence of her crimes. It's impossible to tell where the Clinton Foundation ends and the State Department begins. She then lied about her crime to Congress over and over again. She lied to Congress. I don't know if Congress is going to do anything about it, folks. I'm so sick of looking and seeing, and I hear reports they don't do anything. Congress ought to act. She lied to Congress 100%. Everybody agrees, and it takes so long for them to act. By the time they act, you're going to say, what was it? You won't even remember what happened. Let Congress act today. Let Congress act immediately. The FBI did not act, the FBI, I, I've loved the FBI. I have such high regard, high respect for the FBI. How did they let that happen? She was so guilty. She was so guilty. The world is laughing at us, folks. And then you have Bill Clinton meeting with the Attorney General in the back of an airplane for 39 minutes. And he said they were talking about golf and their grandkids. Give me a break. And very importantly, Bill Clinton, after all of that, and after the beautiful gift he was given, Bill Clinton essentially called the FBI director, James Comey, a liar, when he said the FBI director was spouting bull. Can you imagine? Man. They don't realize that they owe the FBI director their political lives for refusing to recommend prosecution for Hillary Clinton's many, many crimes. And then he calls, then he calls the director a liar. He saved Hillary Clinton from facing justice for her illegal and corrupt actions. They were illegal and they were corrupt. And the FBI saved her. And I would imagine many people within the FBI are extremely embarrassed.